Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this new puzzle generator. And if you can see, I've got a picture of a young man playing baseball. I put it, I, I hit P, put it in the center of the page, but my puzzles now is behind that, so I can go to object order and put to the picture to the back of the page. And now you can see my puzzle cuts through his head. So if you did this, you could move this out of the way for just a second, a couple of nudge strokes. You could grab your puzzle, go up to object group and ungroup, then move your puzzle back or hit P. Then these individual lines are breaking apart. So you could grab this and you could do a couple of things with it. You could mirror it upside down. Uh, you can't change it too much because you're gonna, and if you hold down the control button, you can move it up and down, but if you really gotta watch out what you're doing or you can mess up the puzzle. So let's see if we can't grab the picture and nudge it out of the way for a second and kind of look at the puzzle just to make sure you didn't mess it up. But on this type deal, you don't have to power clip, you don't have to uh, weld it, you know, inside, minus front, backside, or whatever. That would cut, and that way you can see if your picture, and I've got several videos on how to do pictures on uh, my uh, YouTube video, but, and I'm gonna put a link to this puzzle maker uh, right here, the link is rather long, so it's a it's a long address, but I'll put the link to the bottom of the, and it can't get much easier than this. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.